He usually wants us to do calm.
The North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. From the moment you become a patient in our practice, our experienced team supports you until your full recovery with education, compassion, and understanding. Our focus includes sports injuries, as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints, from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. We can not only address the current injury, but also find the underlying cause, such as muscle weakness, imbalance, or improper form. We also offer non-surgical modalities, such as platelet-rich plasma injections, which can lead to an accelerated recovery. To provide efficient and excellent care, personal interactions, and individualized attention for each patient is important. We are committed to create a protocol that can eliminate similar injuries in the future. At North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute, we are dedicated to providing the highest standard of care and comfort of athletes, including patients with non-related sports injury.
North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. Our focus includes sports injuries as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. Specialist Dr. Michael Rusinella utilizes non-surgical and minimally invasive surgical procedures to help patients regain back their quality of life.
When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown. And he does. Goodbye, Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstra. Capstra will dive in past two players. And she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000 point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the Kirk cross. Stick down by Murphy. Send the shot and deflect it and score! Yeah. We're at the 230 marker left in the game. Immaculate go quickly, but it has just costed them a good play there to stay on the West Orange side. Diving in quickly is Capstraw, and she herself is leading West Orange to a comeback. Five. Short shot on goal and post So a free kick for West Orange. She sends it to us in that. But we don't score the game, we just call and record it. As the pitch from Bove with nobody on base, swung on and missed, struck him out. Lacey now trying to get on the offensive side of things, can he? Ooh, and he's able to work himself into a pin position. Penny on the pin. He's got all five back points easily secured. And he pins him. So the first race here with the pinfall victory. West Orange with a 5 nothing win over North Central. I'm here with West Orange head coach Doug Nevins. All right, West Orange with a 6-1 win over Columbia. I'm here with three stars of the game. Emma Mitchell, Kaya Schultz, Gianna Festino. So I'm Ryan Lowey from D1 Media Pro, and I'm joined with senior Kaya Schultz and junior Kylie Capstraw. Here with West Orange girls varsity coach Sean DeVore. 
when one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown. And he does. Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstra. Capstra will drive in past two players. And she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000 point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the Kirk cross. Stick down by Murphy. Send a shot and deflected. They score! Now. We're at the 230 marker left in the game. Immaculate go quickly, but it has just costed them a good play there to stay on the West Orange side. Diving in quickly is Capstraw, and she herself is leading West Orange to a comeback. Five. Short shot on goal. And post So a free kick for West Orange. She sends it to us in that. Oh, but we don't score the game, we just call and record it. As the pitch from Bove with nobody on base swung on and missed, struck him out. Lacey now trying to get on the offensive side of things, can he? Ooh, and he's able to work himself into a pin position. Penny on the pin. He's got all five back points easily secured. And he pins him. So the first row to with a pinfall victory. West Orange with a 5 nothing win over North Central. I'm here with West Orange head coach Doug Nevins. All right, West Orange with a 6-1 win over Columbia. I'm here with three stars of the game. Emma Mitchell, Kaya Schultz, Gianna Festino. So I'm Ryan Lowey from D1 Media Pro, and I'm joined with senior Kaya Schultz and junior Kylie Capstraw. Here with West Orange girls varsity coach Sean DeVore. Screen pass out in the flat, caught, and it's a touchdown for St. Peter's. Okay. O'Donnell swinging away, puts it over the shortstop's head. That's a base hit. It'll score one. Faraz on his way home. Throw is not in time. Going quickly, Bullock takes the snap, throws to the far side. Wide open, touchdown. Called strike three, looking. Mulcahy he strikes out the side. He's perfect through two. Now up ahead for the Marauders. Here comes Bengals. They score! Michael for St. Peter's Park. Bounced on the ground to short. Faraz Fields flip to O'Donnell one. Throw on to first in time for a double play. Just we'll look back out there for the Marauders. He takes the snap, looking over the middle. Has a man, and he scores. Real good. Forty-five. Once again, hit in the air to deep center field. Sicka moving on the back at the wall. It's gone. LS Reed with a two run blast. And the Marauders have a six nothing lead. St. Peter's Prep has the best coverage for its student athletes. Why don't you? It's hard to get to everything we have going on here. I mean, this high school has so much. And now you're offering the ability to watch those events without having to travel there. My dad travels a lot, so he likes to watch the events. Like if I'm playing a volleyball game and he can't make it, um, he'll watch it and he loves it. I think it was homecoming. It was Friday night. And um, it was a punt return, and I returned it all the way back for a touchdown. And, of course, I showed all my family members, and they, they really liked it. They, they liked to see what their family members can do. I think this broadcast is essential because uh, uh, our team is global, and we got people all over the world going to watch the game. So without this, there's no way they can do that. These kids and these players feel loved. They feel important. And by broadcasting it, you have a bigger group that you're reaching that allows them to know those kids. One of New Jersey's premier high school basketball teams gets their coverage from D1 Media Pro. And it goes like this. Finds Floyd to tie things up. Tie game! 62 apiece. 90 seconds. Floyd attacking and throws it down. Corey Floyd. A missed opportunity down low behind the back to play. Now, and 
Lawrence with Floyd to lob it up. What a slam! Too low for Dunn. Wilcher to Floyd. Brings it in and in on the lob. Thought about the three drives. Base spot. Oh, what a start for Corey Floyd. Here with Corey Floyd after a tough... Wilcher, three. Got it. Simeon Wilcher is fired up. And Simeon Wilcher all alone with the flush. Here with Simeon Wilcher. And a pass taken away by Marshall. And he'll throw it down. Tosses it ahead to Valencia. Serin driving and throws it down. He kicks it around and a turnover. Corey Floyd has it. Step through, lay and throws the basket. Marcus Cerrone here with Roselle Catholic head coach Dave Boff. Dave, you're coming up. Now, it's your time to join. It's now the third quarter. 25-29 is your score. We're back. It's now third quarter, 25-29. University with a four-point lead. The ball is now in campus hands. Is that two for campus? Campus out. University's ball. The ball is in university hands. Out on university. It's now campus ball. Two from Trinity. Two. Mm-hmm. University with the rebound. University driving to the basket, number two from University, and is that, ooh, out of bounds. Trinity driving the ball down to the basket to Brianna English. University still in the ball. Is that two? 
No good, no good. Number two from university at the foul line. First one's no good. Second one's no good either. Brianna with the three. And it's good. Twenty eight, twenty nine, six minutes remaining. Number two from the university with the ball. <laughs> looking for their next score, looking for their next score. <laughs> Campus with the still. Trinity to the basket. Two points. Good shot. Thirty twenty nine with five minutes and forty two seconds remaining. Mirror on defense. Campus number five. Twenty nine campus up by one. Mayor with the ball to Trinity. Trinity at the foul line, two shots, two shots. First one's good. Second one's green as well. Thirty-two twenty-nine. University with two points on the scoreboard. Yeah, 
32-31. Mariner Trinity, Trinity Denier, University with the steal. Regrouping, regrouping. Thirty-four, thirty-one with four minutes remaining in our third quarter. Travel. English English to the basket Thirty four, thirty three. Trinity bringing the basket, bringing the ball down to the basket to English. English driving the ball to the basket. Back to Trinity. Trinity to the box. Three minutes remaining in our third quarter. Two points for University. Thirty-five, thirty-four. University now up by one. Ball in their hands. Six with two minutes remaining in our third quarter. University up by two points. Forty-one thirty-six. 
20 seconds remaining. into the front court to Khalil Whitney. Go into the basket and the jam! ...conversation with them because they are getting resources from the city. They are getting resources and they are arguing with us about the timeliness of those resources. tell who's going to win this game. Campus with the rebound to the basket, to the basket. University to the basket.
The ball is in Brianna English hands. Forty-two, forty-two. Five minutes remaining. Who's going to take home the win? Campus with the rebound. Brianna and that's Down the middle, man. This guy, and he keep going, and he, he oh, what the ball's ball loose, out, and they hop back on it. That's a touchdown. Short punt, bounces at the 35, fielded at the 40 by quick, quick, out to the corner. He's got blockers and a lot of green grass in front of him. Cuts back. He's in for a touchdown. Swing pass in the flat. Touchdown. Third down and 17, a handoff. Getting to the outside. There's a hole. There's a first down. And all the way to the races is Elijah McWilliams to the house for a touchdown and for an IMIC for a division championship. Right up the middle, barreling towards the goal. <laughs> back from our timeout. Four minutes and 20 seconds remaining in our fourth quarter. Is University going to put some score? Ooh. All you got to do 
do a small thing. Foul shot in. Now you got it out. Second one's no good. University with a turnover. Run the place to let me go! Go! Get 
campus with the rebound going to the basket. Is that two from Trinity? Great shot from Trinity. Second foul shot from Trinity, and it's good. Darren Lewis with Simeon Wilcher here with Preston Achua. Remaining in our first quarter. University with the turnover. O'Donnell swinging away, puts it over the shortstop's head. That's a base hit. It'll score one. Faraz on his way home. Throw in. It's not in time. Going quickly, Bullock takes the snap. Throws to the far side. Wide open touchdown. In there, called strike three. Looking. Mulcahy he strikes out the side. He's perfect through two. Now up ahead for the Marauders. Here comes Bigman. They score! go back to this for St. Peter's Park. Bounced on the ground to short. Faraz Fields flip to O'Donnell one. Throw on to first. In top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown, and he does. The time, Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstra. Capstra will drive in past two players, and she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000-point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the Kirk cross. Stick down by Murphy. Send a shot and deflected. They score. <laughs> It's tied up with 26 seconds remaining. It's getting good, it's getting good. When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown, and he does. The time, Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstraw. Capstraw will drive in past two players, and she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000-point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the Kirk cross. Stick down by Murphy. Send a shot and deflect it. They score! Two now. We're at the 2.30 marker left in the game. Immaculate go quickly, but it has just costed them a good play there to stay on the West Orange side. Diving in quickly is Capstraw and Sheehan. I'm not staying for OT. Somebody make it. I don't know. Somebody. 46, 46, 6, 5. When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown, and he does. The time, Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstraw. Capstraw will drive in past two players, and she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000-point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the Kirk cross. Stick down by Murphy. Send a shot and deflect it. They score! We are back for another four minutes. Another four minutes of basketball. 46-46. Let's go. They're not playing games. Defense. University with the tip-offs. I think it's 
Dark Tom, I'm wild. The ball in English hands. Back to Monty. Minutes remaining, 46-46 still in our overtime. Who is going to break it? University or campus girls? Rihanna English to Monty. Monty dribbling the ball. University with the steal. Are they going to go in? Trinity with the basketball. First foul shot, no good. Forty-seven, forty-six. 
University of Oklahoma, one, one minute and 33 seconds remaining. Forty-seven, forty-seven is now your score. Yeah. Both so how shots go by Trinity. You University bringing the ball back down to the court. 48 47. East Orange Campus up by one. One minute and 20 seconds remaining in our overtime. Is that a play for University or no? No way. Forty-nine, forty-eight. University now takes the lead. Two free throws.
49 seconds remaining. Campus goal. University up by one. We need campus to go on the scoreboard. One of New Jersey's premier high school basketball teams gets their coverage from D1 Media Pro. And it goes like this. Finds Floyd to tie things up. Tie game! 62 apiece. 90 seconds. Floyd attacking and throws it down. Corey Floyd. He missed up. Fifteen seconds remaining. Camp is down by three. One of New Jersey's premier high school basketball teams gets their coverage from D1 Media Pro, and it goes like this. Finds Floyd to tie things up. Tie game! 62 apiece. 90 seconds. Floyd attacking and throws it down. Corey Floyd. A missed opportunity down low behind the back to play no and one. No